All right, people have been telling me that I need to play Raft for a while, but I've never gotten around to it. Uh, but then my daughter Phoebe uh, discovered it, and uh, now she's the expert and I'm not. She's played a little bit of it, and she's going to kind of show me how it works. So I should back off here and give you the mouse so that you can tell everybody what's going on. So let's uh, be over here where we can see the title. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so... This is your character right here with the red one shirt. And then it looks like he has some chairs and some props behind him, which I haven't really been able to get yet. I think it's a girl. I think it could be either. <laughs> I think I think maybe that's intentional. Um, so we're going to have to start from scratch. You've got a save game, but uh, we're playing on my profile because of complicated reasons. So. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put it on easy because that's what I did it on, and okay. I don't really want to die. <laughs> that's um, all right. So we could go ahead and call our crazy switch. Oh, it, wait, There's a T in there. Yeah. yeah. I knew it looked wrong. There we go. Twitch. Friendly fire. Uh, go ahead and just create world. Um... Oh, people nobody's can join gonna, us if nobody, they see that on the stream. Nobody's going to remember that. <laughs> earthly, earthly is the password. Earthly, earthly. Wait, can they pause streams? Uh, yeah. It's oh, okay. Nobody's going to come and invade our game. It'll be fine. Yeah. And if they do, they're probably not going to kill us. And so you can roll up the hook like that and then grab materials. So wait, you're just standing on a tiny little wooden platform? For now. That's all you've got? For now. Yeah. And so everything you get, you have to fish for? Yeah, unless they come really close. Um, and there's a shark. Okay. So can you can you swim in this game, or do you have to stay on the raft? You can swim, but the shark will come and bite you. Uh, so the shark is there to, to get you to play the game the way you're supposed to, which is to stay yeah. on the raft mostly? And then here's two barrels over there, which usually give me more supplies. There he is. You have to have, like, a rock or a spear... <clears throat> to like hit him like if he got a spear then if he's chewing on your raft then uh -huh. you can poke him so he'll actually eat your raft like in jaws yeah but if you have a rock then you can smash it on his head does he ever die as far as you know uh probably <laughs> you haven't um, killed him yet though no i've only gave him like a small scratch on his head so this is fascinating i mean usually survival games make you feel isolated and alone and like you don't have enough stuff but i've never seen one that made me feel this isolated like it literally is just just you and some wood it's like and everything else is just the watery void um, no oh so you decide no. when to pull so you can leave it out there to catch something and then decide when to pull it in yep huh, i'm excited to try this out later on where did that plank go that went under my boat? Oh, what's Ooh, that? Plastic. Can you just grab stuff if it gets close enough, or do you have to hook it? Um, you can grab it with E. Oh, oh come on! That felt like it was right there. Yeah. Um, this might come near me. Oh, yeah, you just grab stuff. Cool. So you're trying to get enough resources that you can start expanding your raft. Is that the idea? Yeah. Oh, can you just grab that one? Oh, no! Oh, no, we're shark bait! And we're out. <laughs> that was close. And the thing is that your items, like this hook, have durability, like in Minecraft. Oh, really? So you could eventually damage that hook and need to repair it or replace it? So we don't have enough raft, I mean enough uh, rope to... Yeah, and we need leaves we, to get rope. We also don't have enough raft. <laughs> we have a very tiny raft. Oh, we just grabbed that guy. And that guy. Oh, we got oh a raw potato! Them. Yeah, but... Crunchy and delicious. That doesn't sound yummy. <laughs> This is like the Martian, the game. And we also have a raw beet. Oh, what's that right there? Leaves? Yep. Palm tree make, leaves. You make a uh, rope out of those? or? Uh-huh. Exactly. And you can also make 
make thatch stuff. Nice, I got more palm leaf. I'm gonna need lots of those so that I can make ropes, so that I can make a fishing rod, so that I can get fish. But I would probably want, want to make a grill first, which how do you? All right. Oh, okay, so you've got this whole, so all these resources that you're collecting, you can craft stuff with them. Okay, I just need plastic. Is this one? And a shark. You need a shark to craft some things. I don't even know. I only need some leaves. I really hope you can wear, like, a shark, uh, like, a shark fin jacket or something like that later on in the game. I don't know how you would craft that, but maybe you can make thatch stuff, possibly. I don't oh, think I've gotten that far in the game. I like this mechanic of, you know, just just the process of getting your stuff takes skill and effort. It's not just like, oh, can you bump him? Oh. <laughs> no, you can't really get him with the hook, which is kind of annoying. What about purifier? Still need plastic for that, too. Um, need one more plastic for that, probably... That would get me stuff, and then is that like a purifier? Yes, I can, yes. So you got a purifier, is that so you can drink? Yeah, and I already made a cup, and so I can put salt water into the purifier. Oh, that's cool. I just need to get a bit more plastic to get a bit more rack. No! Oh no! Back off, what are you, ah! I'm a rock, smash! Okay, I can't do anything now. Is there something you can grab nearby? Oh. Okay, so he just grabs a chunk of your raft, but then he goes away for a while. Pretty much, yeah. So if you have, I don't know, what, planks or I something you can replace hammer, that? I need a hammer, actually. Oh, okay. Wooden hammer, yes, I can make it. Um, here we are. Oh, cool. All right. And so... Oh, hey, an island. Can you stop at islands? Um, There's always a possibility of your raft floating away, and also I don't have an axe, and so it won't be useful. So what, what would happen if your raft just floats away? Do you have to build a new raft from scratch? Yeah. Oh. So I don't want that to happen. Yeah, I imagine maybe if you had an anchor or something, you could make it hold still. Yeah, but I don't know how to build that. I think you're limited to what you can build. Hmm. There I like the soundtrack. It's like, woo -hoo. And so around the islands, there's more palm leaves around. And just in the middle of the, like, near islands, there's a lot more stuff. Ooh, and there's a oh. raft. So it's like somebody else's abandoned raft? Yeah, but it's not like an actual online person. Right, right, yeah, like a fictional person. Yeah. Eventually, do you get the ability to steer your raft and decide where it goes? Yeah, I actually have that ability in my world. Oh, that's cool. Do you, do you need like a sail or an oar or uh -huh, a rudder? I have a sail. Oh, neat. I wonder if I have enough plastic to make another floor. I do. I can make two more floors. And so now. Oh, I have enough so they're using like. Oh, okay. I, I got it. Put down my purifier. Then I can take my cup, fill it with salt water, put the salt water into there, then place a plank down for it to start burning with three planks so that I wouldn't have to replace it later. And let's collect. Okay. Some you really have already, in just a short time playing it, you've become an expert in this. <laughs> so I think just I can me, follow what you were doing. Night, I was on the brim of death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn it. Okay, so, so, pure, so it sounds like thirst is going to be an important problem for you pretty early on in the game. And so it's really important to know how to make that purifier thing happen, right? But it takes yeah. a lot of, it takes a bunch of plastic crafting a bunch of different things and then going through this whole process of collecting the water, depositing the water, setting the fire, just to get one drink of water. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just like the way, like, Grand Theft Auto, it's a big, sprawling game, but they keep it interesting because the main mechanic is driving, which is inherently fun. I like that they've taken a survival game and made the process of getting resources inherently fun with this, like, Fishing mechanic, basically. No. Oh. I, I dropped it with Q by accident. That would oh. have been so scary. My hook fell into the water. Have you said no hook? 
Mm-hmm. Would have been terrible. So it uses planks and plastic because you're, like, floating it on, like, empty plastic containers? Pretty much. Oh, okay. I don't know how it would support my body weight, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, I'd be more worried about my body weight than your body weight. Yeah. I'm pretty light. Yeah, a grill! A grill, yes. Nice. Put that next to our purifier. I usually try to put it in the middle of stuff so that if a shark were to chew off something, then... Oh, it wouldn't immediately fall in? Yeah. That's a good idea. Darn it. Anyway, that's some water for me. Oh, nice. I, no, I I didn't even drink it. I accidentally poured it in. No, that was a bad idea. What did you did you pour the water someplace weird? No, I accidentally drank salt water, which will make me thirstier faster. Oh, I like that they simulated that. That's cool. So you drink salt water and then your thirst gets worse. Yeah. But the only problem with that is that I just poured out my fresh water by accident, and then I accidentally drank um, salt water. Did you set the fire? Yeah. Okay. Because if there's already planks, then it can be set. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Um, do I have enough? Yeah, I do. So it doesn't completely destroy the planks to set that one fire. You can keep reusing the same planks for yeah. a little while until they're consumed. I like how sometimes you do just a little hop as you're throwing your hook, just to make it go a little bit further. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now drink is left mouse button. Okay, cool. Oops, just missed a bit of plastic. I want plastic. No! How dare you! There's not anything I can do. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, so let me cook a so, potato. <laughs> so I imagine that over time, as you get... In new tools and stuff and then you get the ability to actually fight off the shark that'll feel pretty good yeah i have the ability to fight off the shark in my world it's pretty yeah cool. like a spear right mm -hmm. start cooking that potato so you just have to put the plank down and it'll automatically catch fire you don't have to like get matches or something no that's simple yeah i was pretty happy about that when i first played too yeah i imagine uh there are already enough steps to just getting just getting enough water to drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, just barely. Anyways, we have... Wait. Drink. No, that, that, oh, that was... wasn't... Oh, there you go. There we go. There we go. So... So it's getting to be nighttime, and you're kind of lit by the fire. That's pretty cool. It's interesting, like, you keep drifting around and, and keep seeing new stuff, but I, I never see something just pop in. They're doing a pretty good job of, uh... It's because of the fog. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. Some scrap. Scrap. Anyway, I got this, and so... I'll place it with some of my palm leaves. Go ahead and eat that. Oh, that looks like a delicious potato. Looked me. <laughs> yes, looked. I'm gonna get ready for a new... Ooh, actually, I'm gonna save it for a fishing rod. Oh, cool. What do you need for the fishing rod? Some rope. Okay, three more ropes and six blinks. Mm -hmm. oh, here comes one right up to you. Come on, Mr. Plank. And I don't think the shark attacks at night. Well, that would be extra scary. 
No, he does not. I guess they're uh, diurnal animals. What's that mean? Uh, it's the opposite of nocturnal. Oh, there he is. Now he's still swimming around. He's just not attacking you right now. Oh, I just broke my hook. Oh, crap. I, need, I hope you got enough to make a new hook. Probably. Don't I just have to waste more planks? <laughs> at least you had some. You, at least you're not sitting there having to wait for, like, palm leaves and, and planks to get right up close to the raft so you get them without the hook. But I do like that it's theoretically possible. Like, I've been playing a lot of uh, Kingdom New Lands lately, and I finally got to Skull Island, and I was really excited, and then I accidentally got myself into a position where I literally could not make any more money. And so I just had to quit, because there was no, there was no way I could succeed. And so I like that this game, you know, you always theoretically can get the stuff you need to make that hook, just by drifting a little bit. Ooh, look at that tasty potato. <laughs> Does look like a tasty potato. I just wonder why it has a cross on it, like a X. Oh yeah, I guess it kind of split open while it was cooking. Maybe it does make it look tastier. Uh -huh. Either that or it's a Christian potato. A <laughs> but a Christian cross, the part of it would be taller. Than oh, that's true. It's like a first aid potato. Yeah, it's a first aid potato. Gives you health. Mm -hmm. Well, more like hunger points, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Can I Here. Wait, can I make the fishing rod? Almost. One more. One three, more. Three more. One more? I think it said five of eight, didn't I? Did, did I misread five it? Five of six. Oh, I thought it said five of eight. You were correct. Anyway, let me take my tasty potato. But I still... Darn ah. it, you! <laughs> I was say, hit it with a beat! I can't, and it's sad. Alright, well I guess you want to replace that corner soon, huh? So that it can't take a chunk out and make you lose your, your grill. It's weird, when, when you're playing a game like this from the very beginning... You don't mind the fact you don't have anything. But then if you try to start over again because you lost something, it's so painful to try to make the same stuff again. I found that out in, in, in RimWorld recently. I was, I'm was i doing a, a story where I want to um, to get my people uh, all, the way, all the way across the world map to pick up the spaceship. And I couldn't get all the way across the world map in one, in one go. So I stopped and made a brand new colony and... Trying to start a brand new colony when I've already got a colony was just like, oh, why don't you have this? Why did you have that? Oh, yeah, I have to build everything again. I did manage to bring a caravan with a bunch of extra equipment to make it a little bit easier, but... Yeah. Oh, you can just wait for it to... Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Let me get the leaf. Ooh, I was hoping you were going to get both. Yeah. It's so just one of those times when you know exactly what to do and how to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just don't know why a cooked beet would taste good. <laughs> yeah. Let me go fishing. Yeah, how does this work? I guess light, like in Minecraft. Is the fish more nutritious than potatoes, or, uh... It gives you a lot more hunger. What? It gives you a lot more... Like hunger point yeah. things, whatever? Hunger point things. Fills up your hunger meter? Yeah. There we go. We got, we got these. Oh, nice. Start cooking that by the fire. And you've got a little, a little reusable piece of bait there on the end. That's cute. Mm-hmm. If only I had the sail, then I'd still go to that raft, because sometimes they have treasures. Oh, that sounds cool. Mm -hmm. So what does it take to get a sail? Does it take like a lot of palm leaves or something else? Let's find out. Here we go. So, oh, so do you have your entire, like all the things you I could just possibly need build? Planks. So do you have all the things you could possibly build in your menu already? It's not like a process of like researching where you discover new things that you can build? I actually don't know. Huh. 
Oh, hey, thanks for joining us, Dingus Chief. I don't... So, Dingus Chief says, Ow, that harsh. And uh, I don't actually remember what he was responding to. I need to watch the game on the little window here where the chat pops up instead of watching it over here. But it's just so big and pretty over here. It really is. They, they did a, a good remake of a sunset. Like, I mean, sunrise. Oh, yeah, that does look really Because nice. that just made my eyes do the same thing if I was actually looking at the actual sun. Oh, <laughs> we don't even have an HDR monitor. <laughs> Like, it made them ache a bit. <laughs> Let's see if it does the same thing for you, Dad. Ah! Yeah. Did it? Well, it's, yeah, I think it's partly... I think it's just psychological. We're so used to the sun being bad for our eyes that we just, like, want to squint a little bit. Okay. It doesn't do it anymore. The uh, there we go. the shimmer on the on the water does look really nice underneath the I'm sun. i eat that, and then I'm going to cook my mackerel. Ooh. Water. Oh, Dingus Chief was responding to when we uh, when we started new settlements in Room in Room World. Oh, yeah, that is pretty harsh. Anyways, we can probably make the sale now. Oh, oh. well, one plank short. Come over here. <laughs> Get well, on my boat. We actually might want to make a bit more flooring before we do so. Oh, nice shot. I, I bet it feels good to get to grab like a long shot like that. It does. So I want to know what kind of... Oh, what, so, <laughs> it probably also feels good to grab something with your hook while also grabbing something with your hand. Yeah. I've done that with fishing. Like you're fishing with one hand and like grabbing stuff with the other hand? Mm-hmm. Speaking of fishing, I should probably go fishing. He's going to attack my boat any second, though. Like you don't want to take a uh, fish off the barbecue until you've got an another fish to replace it with? Yeah, for some reason I have a blueprint in my hand. Huh. Okay. Oh, maybe that reveals a new thing you can build. Oh my gosh, he's attacking me. And I have nothing to do about it. Hit him with a mackerel! I, I, I had a rock, darn it! Actually, oh. that wouldn't have done as much as I thought it would do. Um, I might want more flooring, actually. Let's... So just tons of planks. So you've already built your sail, right? And so you just need to get more planks to fill out your floor. Yeah. I just had a weird brain fart. <laughs> and so I forgot what I was doing. So but I... now I remember I'm gathering more planks for more of a floor. Yeah, so Dingus is reminding us to uh, to build uh, to build a spear, and yeah, I think uh, in, in her in her game, Phoebe's already got a spear, and that, I think I think that is on our list. Yeah, I'm just trying to build up a sail since we've got one. <laughs> that little hop is great. <laughs> you know, this kind of reminds me of Ark. Yeah, it's it's like Ark only with an arc. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Anyways, I can open it, and then I can hold R, and then do this. Oops, wrong thing. Hold R, and then we're Oh, over. so you can just decide, and then the wind will catch it, and it'll blow it in whatever direction we... We desire, go. yes. Oh, whatever we desire. It looks like your hook is in bad shape. Yeah, it really is. Um probably save some planks for replacing it whenever uh Ugh. oh i thought it was gonna be in my way <laughs> but no we just go right through it i know what are you doing this it doesn't waste any durability just tossing it no nowhere yeah Ooh, tilapia what's tilapia kind of fish sounds like seafood because i don't like seafood <laughs> yes it all 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 fish is seafood i think i guess i don't know does river fish uh, and dolphins and uh 
Uh, they're not fish. Do people even eat dolphins? Because oh. that sounds gross. Dingus did not know that you could cancel the throw on the uh, on the hook. Yeah, you do it with the right click. That's cool. Uh, people do... I, I think... People might eat dolphin by accident. I don't think very many people eat dolphin on purpose. Eat dolphin on accident? How? Yeah, uh, I think... Uh, I don't know. If a dolphin gets tangled up in your tuna net and they accidentally throw it in with the tuna. That's nasty. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't actually butcher the dolphins with the tuna. They just accidentally kill them with the tuna nets. Aww. Really sucks for the dolphin. Wasn't there used to be pink dolphins? I don't know about that. I know we had a pink dolphin looking thing called Porpoisley in Moonrise. But... Yeah. It's funny, so I always thought, oh, there's Sailor Wolf. Uh, says he thinks that they used to just butcher dolphins alongside the tuna. At least I assume that's what you're talking about. So, putting the chat on the screen, I thought that it would make me watch, uh, make me read it more. It turns out it just documents me missing comments. Uh, instead of, you know, comments just blowing by and nobody knows about them, now everyone knows when I'm not paying attention to the chat. I'm just missing everything. Oh, I'm sure you're doing a better job than I'd be doing right now. You think you would be dead? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Did you die your first game, or did you just no. get close? I got close, but I didn't mm. die. Because we're doing easy mode right now. Oh, that's true. I probably would have started on normal, because that's what I usually do, so... Oh, I started on easy because I knew that was already a hard game. <laughs> or at least for a kid like me, because I don't play too many survival games. I play Minecraft, I play Ark. And used to play some Don't Starve, right? Just a little oh, bit? Oh, I, I do sometimes play it. But that... But just the name of the game already tells you that it's survival. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, crap, I broke. Oh, your hook broke? Mm hmm I'm gonna need to make another one, but... Ooh, a plastic hook. Is that fancier? No, it's what we always had. Oh, I thought... Oh, interesting. I thought it was wooden or something. Maybe, yeah. I guess it didn't look wooden, so... Hmm. Well, wooden would be a bit stronger than plastic. Yeah, I mean, can you eventually collect enough, like, scrap metal to make a metal hook? I don't know. Maybe there's a blueprint out there for it. Maybe. How many planks? Okay, so I need two more planks. Oh, stupid shark. Get off our raft. If only I could hook him. So, I uh, can't fish. Darn, I had two rocks, but I don't know what that would really do. <laughs> like, one time I smashed him on the head just enough for him to go away. No, oh, that's cool. Uh, Dingus and Sailor, if you guys play this game, uh, what would you say is, is different about the higher difficulty levels? Do, like, more frequent shark attacks, less materials... Uh, Sailor Wolf wonders if we're trying to get to an island. Um, no. You, have you gone onto an island before? No, I, I've seen them and I've got and I've got stuck on one before, <laughs> and so I had to use a paddle to get away. But no, I've never been on an island. Because I, I know you were you were nervous that you might you, your raft might drift away and then you're just dead. messed up. Yeah, you're just dead. I'm making a hammer. Oh my gosh, I'm on my plastic now. Yeah, maybe I'll try this out at normal difficulty and see what they change between easy and normal. Maybe. This is later on. A oh, Sailor Wolf hasn't oh, yeah. played the game before. He has not? Nope. So just checking it out here on Twitch. But has Dingus? Uh, Dingus shot? has, but he hasn't tried the other difficulty levels. Only easy? Uh, or may maybe, maybe only normal? I'm not sure. I'm not sure which difficulty level uh, Dingus plays on. Drink. Need to get planks. And I'm missing. Oh, Dingus suggested the uh, thirst and the and the hunger levels might decrease faster. That makes a lot of sense. Oh man, are we going faster now? Feels like it, but probably not. 
I don't see why it would change, really. I, I mean, maybe maybe when we put up the sail, maybe the wind changes it now that we've got uh, a sail up. Um, we can close it with E. It's hard to tell because the water's moving and we're moving. Like, everything's moving at once. It's hard to tell exactly how fast anything is. This is like a nightmare scenario for me, by the way. Like f floating in the ocean, nothing on the horizon, just endless depths below me, full of sharks. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd lose would my you mind. Freak out? I would freak out. Beginner gatherer. I wouldn't have the uh, presence of mind of this person, whoever it is that we're playing. Maybe his or her name is Cole. That well, can be a boy and girl name. Uh, maybe. Yeah, pretty much any name that's a last name can be a girl name. People like to name... So, Joseph? Mm, I don't think Joseph... Is Joseph a last name? Can be. <laughs> Dingus says that, yeah, this is one of his nightmare scenarios, too. And he put a funny emoji. Yeah. And I'm impressed oh. that uh, Restream managed to get that emoji up on the screen. What Good on you, Restream.io. What emoji is that? Uh, it's somebody freaking out, it looks like. Somebody grabbing their hair. Looks like somebody from Studio C. <laughs> Whoa, that was a good one. Mm -hmm. Blueprint for a receiver? What's a receiver? Uh, it's a part of a gun. What's I a don't... research table? Oh, can you build a research table? Here it is. Um, we need it's more... a ton of planks. How many did it say? 14, I think. I think we got like two. No, we got like five. Okay, I can't read. I never learned to read! What's that from? I don't know. I, I think I've only seen it quoted by other things. There you go. You know, part of me wishes that when plastic went under the raft, you'd hear a bump and a bump and a bump and a bump uh, as it goes on the bottom of the raft. But I'm betting if they actually did that, uh, it would be really annoying. So, probably just as good that they didn't. Wow, just barely reached. Yeah, that was cool. Okay, I got ten. I should probably fish a bit. And also to reel in the fishing rod fast, then it's the same as the other thing. Same as canceling the hook? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Nice. I got that. Do it instead of plastic. <laughs> Your character looks like they're kind of grossed out by the fish. They're like, ew, what's this? Take this, and this, oh, and I this. I didn't even see you craft that spear. This. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. I didn't notice you making that. Yep. So I imagine that tile of your floor is now a little weaker. Yeah, and so if he were to chew it up again... Um, He'd probably get it a lot faster? Yeah, it'd probably be dead. Ooh, can I get lots of stuff here? Oh. Two I things. Did. Not too bad. Yeah, I could probably just pick this one up. Then, okay, so if you want to track how much you have of something, you just keep it in your inventory. I have a research table now. Cool. Oh, wow. That looks fancy, right? Yeah, but I want a bit more flooring. Oh, Dingus says that you can um, repair with the hammer. Oh, yeah, I think you can. <laughs> Jump. Ah. Oh. Lead your target. Well, whatever. I'll just get this one over here. How I do, many I do like this. This game is kind of inherently hopeful because you miss something, there's always something else. No, I want to see the original ship that exploded to create all of this debris. Because it must have been enormous. See, I want to see why they have so many perfectly in shape barrels with random crap inside. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, Lots who, of who would keep a raw potato with the stone? <laughs> yeah. Maybe they were making stone soup. Sounds nasty. And there's lots of the same pipe everywhere. That's probably why it's blown up. Yeah, <laughs> right. They just they had damaged pipes. Nice grilled fish. Yeah, I, I need to eat. And so, yeah. Oh, it's already cooked. I did not need to do that. What am I trying to do now? Oh, yeah. Uh, the research table. You're trying to expand the floor. I need a bit more plastic. 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 That's a plank. I, I, I'll take it, though. Mm, thank you. I hate being afraid you're going to, like, step off the edge of the raft. Hmm. If I can get two more plastic, then I'd be good. Where the Whoa. heck did it go? There we go. That's happened to me before. You just like lose focus on your hook? Yeah, it just gets lost. Oh, I thought you were going to get that one. Sorry. One more plastic. Okay, we got this. We're going to research the heck out of a receiver. What? And we're going to make a gun. What? Actually, a receiver could be anything. It can, maybe it could be like a communications device, or it could be a gun. Or it could be something from the giver. <laughs> like the opposite of the giver. Well, yeah, it, there is something actually called a receiver in that book. Oh, okay. I've never read the giver. You were telling me it was good. Maybe I should check it out. Yeah. Uh, yes. About the plastic. Okay, All right, so let's we got our our lab now. Um, put right here. Okay. See what this is. Okay, so you can get blueprints. Put it there. So just research. Oh, so now you've got this is a list of all the Whoa. things you can make. So what is it? So yeah, a where does it brick? show up? A wet brick? How do I get sand? Probably from islands. Yeah. I wonder if there's an anchor in here. Uh, nothing that Small. I can see. Ooh, a crop. You can grow potatoes. I just... Here, let me make some rope here. I'm going to make lots of rope. Where did I find that? Oh, hey, screw loose. Uh, I think I probably will be playing Fallout 76 at some point. I mean, I, I couldn't possibly get away from it, right? Like, I mean, I'm, I am a Fallout fan, and uh, Fallout 76... Yeah, yeah, the thumbs up guy everywhere. <laughs> uh, Fallout 76 is definitely right in our wheelhouse, and so I've got to know what's going on. Okay, I need four more planks. But I just haven't had time lately with all the other, you know, with everything going on at the office, plus... Uh, my mom's birthday. Plus plus my wife's birthday. And uh, just, just a lot going on, so I haven't, like, put the effort into getting involved in the beta. Uh, I figure, you know, it's close enough to release. I'll, uh, I'll wait on the actual release and, and play it when it's, when it's live. What do you mean, when it's live? Well, so right now, uh, Fallout 76 hasn't quite come out yet, and so there, there, people are playing the beta version of the game. I have a small crop top. Oh, cool. Um, but right here. Yeah, because then I can just walk around. So now you can open it and see what you need to put in there? So how does this work? Okay. Plant raw potato. There's three slots. Okay, cool. So did you like already have a potato and you can just plant it and it'll make more potatoes? Probably. Because what would be the point of planting them then? Yeah, 
Exactly. Oh, it needs fresh water. So it won't be doing anything until you put water in there. Well, that makes sense. I almost have some fresh water. I just need more crap. <laughs> more crap. That's what this game's about. Constantly needing more crap. He could attack any second because he attacked almost eight minutes ago. No, that was like two minutes ago. Huh. Oh no! Oh. He's just, I like how he's usually not a threat, but he's just kind of always there. So I think we had another blueprint. I think we had two blueprints. Yeah, probably. Well, I'm curious what the other one is. Receiver. Receiver. So what does that look like? Battery? What is going on? I thought it said receive. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just misunderstanding what that word was, but... Uh, I think when you research something, you just get more stuff to do. Interesting. Well, well we got apparently a battery? I, I just want to make, uh, like, the, the spear. The weird spear. Where is the weird spear? I don't know. Maybe you can scroll down on that list. Scroll down on this list? Ooh. All kinds These of stuff you can... Plastic seaweed. Oh, wait. So is this the stuff you haven't gotten yet? Is that what this is? Maybe. So maybe we just removed something from the list. I'm confused. Yeah, I'm kind of confused, too. some water for myself. That. The time scale of this doesn't make a ton of sense. Like, being on a raft so long that a potato could mature? That's a long time. It's probably going to be good by tomorrow. Maybe these are like special potatoes. Like you're on an alien planet and this is like science fiction and they've got genetically designed potatoes that, that mature in a day. For them to grow that fast, they'd probably actually feel wind getting sucked into them as oh, they just broke. munched carbon dioxide out of the air. Feels a lot like the movie Waterworld, which is from before your time. My time. My time is my birthday. <laughs> oh, interesting. So, Dingus Chief says the blueprint added things to the research list to pick from. To research, you put one item into the table and spend it. Just whoa. Just any item? Back off. Oh, he got more scratches from that. Oh, and is it possible to kill the shark? That's my question. Oh, uh, SFS, uh, SFX Acidic. I think we got up to over uh, $2,600 on, uh, on the Extra Life stream. Uh, that we did uh, yesterday. So that was oh, pretty I've cool. Oh, I watered it, and this is what happened. Nice. Um, but can we kill the shark? That would be pretty helpful. Yeah, if anybody knows if we can kill the shark, that would be good information. I imagine they probably want to keep the shark as an enemy for a long time, just because it, I don't know, he it's interesting. He has scratches on his face right now, though. That's true. It does kind of suggest that it might slowly get more damage and eventually turn into a zombie shark. What, oh, is it, trying to eat your, is it trying to eat your potatoes? Don't scare away the seagulls. Now you got to deal with more. Just every animal in this game is an enemy. <laughs> I bet if you put a ceiling, seagulls won't appear, though. Oh. But I've never been able to craft a ceiling yet. So you can build, like, like a house? Like walls and a ceiling? And what is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> a little bit of a clipping issue there. That's okay. <laughs> like, what if it just rolled under your boat? 
Yeah. Like I said, yeah, there'd be a lot of really annoying sound effects if things just bumped. Yeah, but if your shark, if the shark goes under, only sometimes its fin would appear under you. It's kind of yeah. weird. It's just funny, actually, seeing characters come up through the floor is actually called sharking. <laughs> sharking oh, happens Oh, Sailor Wolf wants to know if you can eat the seagull. I hope so. Um, I don't know. I just want to know if you... Oh, so Ding has answered your question, actually. So it says, over time, the shark takes damage when you attack it, and at some point, you kill it. At that time, you want to harvest big chunks of food from it before it sinks. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Well, did you see that on the stream or something? I saw that on Dan TDM's video. Oh, gotcha. He had, like, lots of meat, and I gave him lots of hunger. I mean, you... lots of points. The opposite of, of hunger? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ding says that eventually there will be another shark. Yeah. I was going to say, because removing the shark from the game entirely feels like you'd, you'd lose something important. Yeah, Sailor Wolf says that shark fin soup. And I hope um, a shark skin jacket and shark skin boots. Yeah. No, I guess uh, there are, you don't really craft clothes in this game, do you? Your character's just kind of always wearing that I'm number wet one t-shirt. Just wearing the wet and soggy clothes. <laughs> yeah, I guess your clothes are probably pretty wet. We already fell in the water once, but but might be dry by now. Who knows? Yeah. It's always whenever I go fishing, he comes. Oh, he's like mm, for bait. Uh oh, uh oh. Hey, back off. Get off our garden, you jerk fish. <laughs> A candle bottle. Candle bottle. Oh, so you can like light it, light the, light it up at night. Put that right there. Oh, still light under the sail. I like that the collision is so precise on that. You can like put things under other things. But I don't think you can light it, or I glitched or, it. Or or maybe at night it automatically comes on. Ready? Let me get one more fish. I think we got about ten minutes left before we gotta start getting ready for bed. So. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty impressed at the raft that uh, you've created here in the time that we had, though. Yeah. Nice shot. Oh, almost! I thought you had it. Tomorrow I have school. That is true. It's a few couple days when I actually have school. <laughs> yeah, our district has this uh, pretty nice hybrid homeschooling thing. Oh, a bed? Mm -hmm. Can you like sleep through the night? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And do you need Do you need rest? Bed. Uh, this is... No, not necessarily, but you just sleep through the night. Oh, that's and cool. Then... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, where to go? Where to go? <laughs> You're right. like, I never want to see that plastic. I want to just keep building. Oh, all the animals attack at once. I bet they're teamed up. Like a team of con artists, like okay, you distract her. Mm. I'll eat her boat for some oh, reason. Oh, I can harvest. Nice. So did you? Oh, so you got two potatoes for each of those potatoes you planted. So you can just keep doubling your potatoes. Tilapia. Oh, interesting. And Dingus Chief says, in multiplayer, you can pick up teammates and put them in bed to let them respawn. Interesting. So, so like, is that, is that like if a teammate dies, you can respawn them that way? Is that how that works? Probably. I like that it's, like, made out of palm leaves. They're doing a pretty good job of making things look like you really improvised them. What does that mean? Well, I mean, like... It looks like you could have built these things out of the stuff you've been picking up. Yeah, but where did my fish go? I had cooked fish. I, th I thought you ate it. Maybe I did. I probably did. Yeah. 
having a delicious baked potato. I'm going to, but yeah. I really like how this game focuses on needing water because that is like the most the thing you're most ironically desperate for when you're floating yeah. in the ocean. Like if you're actually stranded in the forest, the first thing you should find is like drinkable water. Yeah. And not edible food. Cuz you cuz you can last a few days without food. Yeah, you can technically last a few weeks without food, though you'll be pretty miserable by the time you get to that that time scale. Yep. Okay, I still keep playing all my stuff. There we go. There's a lot of maintenance in this game. Like, you gotta keep... Hey, get out of here. Stop slamming your, your head food. on my stuff. I think they're already watered. Yeah. I was just testing stuff. Okay, cool. Oh no, I drank it. You drink the salt water? Again? See, look, it went down. Oh yeah. Oops. Not good. I wonder if I should have two purifiers. So you can get enough water? Yep. From no harm in it, probably. Yeah. So let me just go to my crafting, see what I need for. <laughs> so I probably won't make it now. So let me drink the right water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's evaporating the water against the palm leaf. And then dripping the water down into the red cup from the palm leaf. That's pretty clever. Like, they came up with a system that it would be very inefficient, but it might actually work. Whoa. Busy We're getting some here. soundtrack. I wonder what triggered that. Did you donate all your charity money already? Uh, we... I... So I think that the money goes direct when people donate to Extra Life, it goes directly to Extra Life. So oh, yeah, how yeah. How many did you get for them? Uh, I personally, I don't know if I actually uh, ended up raising hardly any. I think that, uh, but the team as a whole, like everybody who was participating, the the Undead Trials folks and everybody together raised about twenty six hundred bucks for uh, local children's hospitals, which is pretty cool. So what are they doing with it? Just uh, in beds and stuff. I'm actually not sure. I didn't chase it all the way down. Uh, they do have links on Extra Life's site, though, where you can look to find out what, what the money actually goes to. But why do people need money to study cancer? Uh, well, because you gotta, pay, you know, it's a lot of work to, to do tests and, and figure out, you know, try out different cures and different treatments. And, you know, the doctors that do that, they have to make a living. You know, if they, if they can't get paid to do that work, they have to do something else to keep their families going so you know when you when you pay money into things like cancer research what you're paying for is doctors to be able to you know doctors and scientists to be able to spend time on the problem and not do something else oh i i thought that they need money for equipment but then that would just be um well that's part of it too no you're right they do actually they would need money for equipment and like ev everything everything costs money yeah but even that equipment, what you're really paying for is, you know, Look at all these the people. scratches that he has, Dad. Yeah, I know. It looks like he's, he could die any time. That probably take lots of. Ooh. Yeah. Even when you buy equipment, though, you're you're paying for the people who made the equipment and the stuff they made it out of. But then you're paying for the people who who got the stuff they made the equipment out of. Like everything eventually goes back to you're paying people for their time. Pretty much all money represents time. Okay. So can you hook up with another raft by throwing the... Probably not. Oh, especially if we're just barely too far away. How's that? Do you, oh, you have to be behind it? Let's go this way. Oh, it looks like we've already passed it. 
can we even huh i wonder do we have maybe it seems like we maybe have pretty limited control over our direction nope we're going this oh oh well at least it is, does seem like it's going the other way now i think there must be a prevailing wind direction that uh it's hard to avoid going that way well it did have a cooler on it so oh, but, that's kind of sad <laughs> Go really far so that the good fish will come. <laughs> Is that how that works? No. <laughs> Alright. I got the blue fish. Cool. The gross blue fish. But does act actually does cooking it actually make it edible? In, uh, real life. in real life, yeah, yeah. That's why that's why we cook things is because raw meat can have a lot of bacteria and terrible stuff in it that can make you really sick. But if you cook it, all that stuff gets killed. Uh, all like the germs and things get killed, and then and it also changes the meat in a way that makes it, I, you know, in a lot of cases for a lot of people more delicious. Feels like we're in this this void with no uh, no flotsam in it. Like there is a couple islands, but yeah. I wonder if people could actually just live on the island. It would be interesting if you yeah were able to meet like castaways or something living on these islands. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this grabbing stuff with the hook mechanic. I mean. There's so many little shades of what you can do with it. It's kind of cool. Like being able to capture multiple things if you time it right. Oh, hey there, Bindi. Bendy. We're pr yeah, we're probably not Bendy, Bindi. Uh, we're probably going to be done with this in like a minute and a half. That's when we'll hit the hour mark. So. Really? And, yep, and we're going to need to go to bed pretty soon. So. My face. go so what are we saving up for now or are we just kind of grabbing stuff hoping we'll you know have a lot of options grabbing. let's see what we want to build though eh. storage stone axe how would we need an axe i'm not probably, sure probably for like the trees on the islands Oh, maybe so, or maybe for murdering sharks. I don't know if that would be more effective or not. <laughs> shark bait? What? Oh, yeah, it just keeps the shark distracted. Oh, interesting. I had some, but then I accidentally threw some because Milo yanked at my arm. Oh. Well, speaking of Milo, looks like he, looks like he's showing up in the background here. Well, hey, thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Like, I, you know, I'd only seen Raft in passing. I didn't really understand how it worked. So thank you for giving me a tour. Mm-hmm.